a lot, Zoe. Yes, we're ready to get underway. Secret versus Execration, game number two, where Secret took a very convincing ball one. The power kind of believe maybe the secret to victory is shutting down Keizu, keeping this puck out of play. Your thoughts, Winter? Yeah, I think he's going to be the first hero you want to shut down if you're Execration because he's the primary space maker. He's going to make space for the Sven and the OD. Both of these cores, they're going to want to farm a lot, so they have to rely on their offlaner to make space. So if Keizu has very little from the laning phase, he's not going to be able to do his job well. Yeah. So it's up to Secret to try and create more space for him. Bounty. Or either let him pee in mid one, just do a lot more work. Yeah. Puppy has to do what he did in the last game. He prioritized a lot on helping mid one the last game, but this game he might have to help out Kazu more on the off lane because Pup is not that great of an off lane. We see Wings do it, but it's mostly with the draw aura. Like without the draw, they don't usually do Pup off lane. So I expect Puppy to rotate around Kazu and help him get levels and farm a lot more this game. Interested to see now how our, our lanes will play out. Templar Assassin already with the extra Sentry Warden Tango, so looking to try and keep herself safe in the mid lane. Kimo's going to have to help out. He's got the other Sentry Ward and Ops. All of this has been scattered out by the early movement of Puppy. Came up very quickly to the tier one tower and had a bit of a peek. And DJ's already been forced off that bottom rune. Yep, and safe, safe lane Slada as well. Something XCTN like to utilize a lot. Uh, Slada safe lane plus a TA mid. Something they ran a few times. And the rune, Abed. Uh, Puppy's here as well. Keizu wants to try and fight it. Quick orb back up to the hillside. And away. It was still, however, OD and TA that grabbed the rune. So Keizu has to tank a fair chunk of damage for this. Yep, again, looking at the early game ward so far, Secret has chosen to place one in around the mid lane, uh, giving mid one the vision he needs. Like, if you have a vision on top of the, the hill, on the mid lane, it gives you a lot more opportunities to harass and pull the creep wave to your direction because you have the vision. You're going to be able to right click the, the hero to pull the creep aggro very effectively. And Puppy, so he's going to be moving towards the top lane, giving giving Puck some help. And Rappi at the moment, still trying to decide whether he's going to pull the creeps or he's going to stack around uh, the 50, 50 plus minute, uh, 50 plus second mark and get a double pull. And whereas for the other support uh, on the Witch Doctor, he's heading all the way back to top lane right now. Gave me uh, some help previously. But oh, we get to pause across three screens at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I think, I'm not sure why they actually placed the Naga on the safe lane here. I was kind of expecting, you know, we were discussing about uh, the Naga support here previously. I was kind of expecting the Naga to be helping BJ more. And the Witch Doctor to be the sole support on the top lane, pulling and just making sure that the Slada gets towards his blink. And instead, XCTN is like, this is when you almost get punished, right? Like, you're looking for safety. I mean, I guess they are kind of okay with DJ against the Ayo and the Sven. I think Timber should be, yeah, I guess Timber will be fine against these two heroes, because both of them are strength heroes, and Willing Death is going to be a huge uh, problem for these two heroes. And is, it, is it when you like, your rotate support down and set, like once Timber hits his level 4? Because there's another point where Timber gets more in a you know, risky so position, it, he it starts the creep skip. Uh, probably not creep skip, uh, I think, in this lane, because Sven and Ayo, when they have levels, the Storm Hammer, I think you can choose to, you rarely see this, but you can choose to get two points in a stun for this lane, for MP. I've seen players do it in a very difficult lane where you want to have uh, that better lane dominance on the Sven instead of trying to go for the all-out greed on your, your cleave, maxing your cleave. Okay. So I think this is the kind of lane that you might want to prioritize another point onto the Storm Hammer just for the, the spell burst. And you want to get your spirits on the Ayum. So with all that damage and maybe the rotation in from Puppy, they could kill off that offlaner. Yeah, it really depends on how aggressive DJ plays. If he is conservative, he just makes sure he's farming and getting... I think once he gets to level 5, I don't see any way Secret can actually kill him. But before that, there's always a chance. They're gonna drop a Storm Hammer onto the Timber Saw here, trying to go aggressive on him. They realize he doesn't have his reactive armor, so they're gonna be really, really aggressive. One last right click! Oh, south, 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 south! Oh, that was good enough for... That was good enough for Secret there. Removing the south. Uh, they realize DJ went for the aggressive Whirling Death build at level 1, so it doesn't have that extra armor to 
to fend off the right clicks of uh, Secret there. And another Storm Hammer on to the oh, DJ. Oh, that's trouble. That's real, real trouble. He uh, can't get away from uh, that, that one. That was way too aggressive by DJ there. Small little interruption with the pause, and as we come straight back in, you lose the Timbersaw. That Team Secret safe good. lane looking even better now. And top lane looking at the puck. Look at his last hits. He has five last hits so far, so the rotation from Puppy previously definitely made some space for him to ensure that he gets his levels. Mid lane, Puppy's going to come into here as well, looking for the Templar Assassin. There's Norb of Venom only. The damage will not be and enough, but at least makes our bed thing twice. This is really not good like for, for XCT. And it, this is like when Secret runs their over, they are pressuring two lanes, and bottom lane DJ once again getting pushed out of the lane. Movement speed with the Warcry as well. Pylai Dai is going to drop down low. No more bottle charges available with the Tether Slow. There's they another stun DJ from the Sven. Up, and now Sven, there she blows with a Storm Hammer, and now there's two deaths to the offlaner of Execration. And Pylai Dai, a much deserved trip back to base. Oh, this is just a Really, really bad start for Timber. Like, Timber needs to have a good start in the laning phase. That's why I, I felt like the Naga earlier would have, uh, it would have been better for him to, you know, ensure that your Timber gets to that level 2 reactive armor safely with the Torment Shield, then the lane would be secured. But because they felt, they probably felt like Timber would have been fine anyways, but that is starting to hurt them right now with the two deaths and Puppy. So, starting to neutral, there's standard support stuff nowadays and getting your mana back on the fountain, TPing out. An easy, easy quick trip home, even if it says he died. So he's, really he's going bottom lane to try and kill DJ one more time. I think if Timber dies now, it'll be like super, super bad for, for them. Does Timber even, like, there's no detection yeah, there's, on this there's bottom lane. And there's two points on, on stun on the spend as well, so they have more damage on the spell burst. Combining out with Janata, that's a lot of slow. Here comes your Storm Bolt and Pumpy. There's the double slows kicking in. DJ can whirling death, but it won't matter. He is so totally dead. Three hero kills I mean, this, already for Secret. Uh, this Timber is right now done for in the lane. He can't really go to the lane anymore. He needs the supports to rotate over to help him. It was meant to be the Puck he was going to have the hard off lane, not, not the Timber saw. Yeah, but I was kind of expecting like the Naga to be at, there at the bottom lane at the start of the, the game. So I think this is a decision that XCTN might have to go back and think about it after the game, whether it was the right call for them. Like Timber is right now struggling really hard in the laning phase because of that decision. To sacrifice the Timber over trying to get the Puck sacked by Team Secret. I, I don't think they wanted to sacrifice the Timber. They felt Timber would be fine against that lane. Pala is coming in. The Tether not in the perfect position. Now it is Arbet. Spirit Balls are out as well. And Arbet, no way to live when K2 rotates over. Refract is protecting him, but it won't protect him from that. All three attacks fly right. his way. They burn through the defensive refraction. What a play. Like, what a movement by Secret. They were synchronizing movement from the off lane and the support moving in towards the mid lane at the same time. And I, I think if Kezu didn't make his move towards the mid lane, they would not have gotten that kill onto the TA. So, great teamwork there from Secret once again. Perfect rotations. So, you've killed the off lane of Execration. The mm -hmm. mid lane is kind of rough. Like it's, it's 11 5 against the look at this timber. He, look at this timber he's walking back to base right now gosh and he, he died three times that is not the dream he's not even gonna pick like always gonna pick up a pms and try and go back in that lane that won't even protect him from what uh, secret uh, is tossing out yep that's not gonna be enough anymore now and uh, puppy gonna move towards the mid lane right now but they, that's gonna be like two heroes right now Kimo realizes he needs to deal with this bounty like this bounty has been causing so much problems throughout all the lanes and top lane if you look at the puck it's very difficult for the Slada and to get an initiation on the puck you can easily dodge uh, either the stun from the witch doctor with the face shave and all the way and it's gonna be a scan down yeah they were looking they were looking for poppy they were looking for the attack to come in from the side what they should also be careful about is oh, their the recovery stun. mechanism yeah dj we're going over again paralyzing cask will fly out pilot i and mp are gonna cop most of this and pilot i actually hopping the tower hits as well He's got one more bottle charge now being triggered. So he needs the safety to get back in around the tree line. But Execration have to be careful about their dire stack. This is what's going to allow the TA to catch up for the CS that she's missed in the mid lane. But Poppy's already scouted out the fact that it's been doubled. Yeah, this 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 TA need, really needs like ancient stacks. Like he needs every stack he can fight, get himself on. Ancient stacks, jungle stacks, whatever the supports can offer for him. Like, all the lanes right now are, apart from the Salas lane, are going really bad for XCTN, so they need to dedicate at least one of their supports, right? So right now, Kimo is doing the babysitting job for the other two lanes. He's moving around, placing wards, trying to stack some jungle camps for the TA. And Puppy going to scout it out. 
might make a movement here. He stays out of range of the tower, but Whippy goes... Actually, yeah, he probably got sp scouted out just then by the Observer Wolf of bottom lane. DJ MP already started on him. Tipper chain away. Not far enough. The Whisk Spirits come in. And Sven with one last hit is making this game seem very much like the first game in the series. A one-sided affair going the way of Team yep, Secret. And Puppy is going to block the camp as well. He's going to he scout out Kimo. is trying to stack the Ancients. He's going to body block the camp here. So just perfect movement by the Secret Captain once again. And he has three wards. <laughs> they saw him do it too, <laughs> thanks to the Observer on the hill. He's going to be able to plant some heap Observer wards right now. They're trying to go for mid. DJ just TP in behind the tower. Puppy is nearby, but he's out of range of the vision of the tower. I mean, th this is like the problem of Timber. You, you, if you don't get a good start, you can't really help your lanes. I mean, you can come try and help, but you're not going to offer much. Kimo, TA trap. I mean, he's going to have better. Yeah, gets him in range to get the Paralyzing Cask off. There's nothing to... Like, nothing's close enough to tether him to. I mean, if you compare it to a Slada off lane, if you, if you can't go to your lane, you're going to be able to sprint around. At least you're going to offer something to your team. But the Timber roaming this early is not going to offer anything at all to your team. I'm actually kind of surprised at the end, like Puppy cancels the stack for the Witch Doctor. Because it's just going to work for MP. MP will just God Strike and take the stack yeah, before I mean they can I stop him. I, I, I mean, like, it's just like safety. You don't want to play around the fact that, oh, you want to let them stack so you can steal it. Like, it's just better off for you to just block it off and stack your own. I mean, look at look at their ancients as well. It's not going to be contested later. Oop, Puppy stealing some experience here, trying to get that last hit as well. Being, oh, uh, yeah, he got it. Well played. Oh, I'm, co I'm commanding his bounty hunter for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure Execration will be reporting him. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to low priority, Puppy. You can join Sing Sing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, meanwhile, back at the farm, MP, look at the net worth on this Ven, 5.3k practically, up against the safe lane of Execration, you're sitting at 2.8k, and this is, this is the hero that you babysat with your two supports. Obviously, the rotations have started from Execration, but this Slaughter is getting nowhere near as much as I thought he would. He's going to have, like, a raw blink as his yep, first he, item. He has to get a blink, like some games you see safe lane Slaughter get an armlet first, like QO does that a lot, but this game, I think he has to get a dagger first to heal. You know, to make space. Like, he's the only one that's going to be able to... Oh, Coil. This is the last hero. You want to go down here, Gabby? going to get gone on. Bounty. Oh, Slada. The triple crush. He needs a way out. He's amplifying and standing its ground. Oh, my God. Once again, look look at the movement of Secret. They are, like, really synchronized between the two supports moving around, like, with the puck as well. Like, perfect movement there. Getting... And th that was, like... That was, like, the last kill you want to give as XCTN. The Slada at 2.1k goal. He, he was going to get his dagger and start to help his team. And now, again, like, <laughs> we're finding ourselves in the same position. The Battle Rider couldn't get his Blink Dagger early because he ended up having his stack stolen. And now, the safe laner who was meant to get his Blink Dagger, same player, uh, is getting nothing. Like, you're going to push the Templar Assassin over, so at least yep. Arbez now going to get this the stack, which it, they have. If you notice the similarities between the first game and the second game, both games, they heavily re relied on Gabby to get a quick Blink. And both games, he couldn't get a quick Blink. It's because Secret just had their number. And Kezu here... MP's moving over. They have relocated up. They're gonna try to set up with maybe a Storm Hammer. Oh, they, ha they, have, they have to protect this stack. Execration oh. need this stack on the Templar Assassin. If MP's allowed to grab this, they're gonna lose so much. DJ's in the neighborhood, but already they've lost half the stack. Oh Rappi's nearby, God, Puppy. The dust. Now the dust will come out. They're gonna look for Puppy, but Kimo, he's down low. Where is the movement coming? Right now, you've already lost one. MP starting a TP out. He grabs a stack and gets away with murder. Keizu was even in the neighborhood. So you killed the Witch Doc. The puppy was the one being initiated on the start of all of that. Oh my god. This and Execration, the one to lose the hero. Uh, Secret are just playing the perfect game of Dota 2, guys, here. Every movement is perfect. They are reading their opponents very well. Like, XCTN just unable to respond to any of the movements that Secret has done so far. Startup link should be online. Yep, it's online. So they have to make a move now. They need to kill someone with this blink. Oh, they can try. Fresh Echo Saber just came on this event and mid one. Mid lane, Startup's tipping in. Yeah, they're looking for an opening. If they can do it, here's your blink oh. board. Gabby, he needs more distance. Now he'll get imprisoned up. Oh. There was no ensnare. There's no song of the siren. They root puppy, on Puppy, TP. but he's done the TP straight away. The crunch for Gabby, also too late. Oh, here's Space Coconut. Space Coconut! Oh no! Got him. Come on, man. Puppy again. 
both games he's been causing so much problems to XCTM with his roam. But... Hey, you, you have to ban. How can you ban all his heroes? You can't ban it. Puppy's been playing this game since the dawn of time. There, there is no limit the, to this the man's issue, heroes. The issue is like the playstyle, the way they are playing. Yep. Dota, they always have like a hero that's gonna annoy you. Be the ogre, be it the uh, enchantress, bounty, it's a Ricky. When you, when you just draft like stronger laning heroes, like bring in something with a little bit more punch, like bring in like the Sand King to that off lane, get something more I mean, aggressive Tim, Tim, than the Timber passive Naga really, Siren. Timber is also really strong if you get a good start. The issue with this game is Timber did not get a good start. Like Naga, they did not dedicate a support to... Middle lane prep. OD imprisonment. Slada's coming Arbed, over. Slada? He's holding on to it. Now the Slada crush. He only hits on Pylite Eye. Puppy to the neighborhood. The OD ult. He's already crushed the plus point. The mana. MP. One more swing. One more swing. Oh, there she a, is. That's a track kill as well. This is going from bad to worse once again for XCTN. Still relocate. No relocate. He's going to come in. Yeah, they're looking for Rappi, but Rappi ran down south. He just tracked up though. They have the movement speed. The observer wants these chemo. He takes so much oh, damage. He's diving. Highlight die. Four points orbs. Now they get a the track over on chemo. Paralyzed and cast can make this a little bit more difficult, but not impossible. DJ back behind the tower. The orb. No. He is not going to follow that one through Kezu. Gosh, Kezu is also really close to his blink after getting a face boots. Racer, um, a wand. Like even Kezu is more farm than your enemy safe laner. Uh, that is huge problems here for XCTN. And it is just kill streaks galore, not a single one for they execration. Oh my god. And now MP is going to be Gosh. a richer Scrooge McDuck. This is so much money. Not even like you don't even have to make God strength anymore. He's already a level 11 Sven. Pylai die. He may not have much, but he'll pick up an urn. Bounty's gonna have never-ending mana, and this is gonna get worse and worse for Execration. As time goes on, the bounty's gonna go up in levels. There's gonna be more track gold coming in, more than already is arriving for Team Secret. Man, and they need an answer. Like, you where know, is the your answer? Both the movements, remember, before the Slada made two movements so far with the dagger, both felt very pressured. That's why he was not making the best out of the situation. He, he only stunned one hero in the mid lane, and he missed the stun previously. Like you could, you could tell the Slala is under a lot of pressure because of the whole situation that the team is in. He understands that he is the only one that can save the, the game right now. He needs to get pickoffs, he needs to make space. He has so many things he needs to do right now for the team. He needs to help the Timber, he needs to make space for TA, he needs to give the support some farm. Team Secret, play a scan, Team Secret are just not going to let any of that have to happen. They're just going to keep running at them. Relocate is up as well, so this is going to be dangerous times for XCTN. They're looking for Arbid. They see the creeps moving back into the camp. They feel the fresh, hot scent of the Templar Assassin's feet. But they do not find an opening. I think if they kill Abel once again, the game will probably be too far out of reach for XCTN. They need to keep their cause alive and get a play with this ladder. Oh. Here they come. They look for the opening. The backstab. They've been waiting for him. Execration have been sending up on this bottom lane for a very long time and they're out. No more. TP. DJ. He's going to stay though, he's going to want to stay, like, maybe. He just no. doesn't want to get hit by the spirits, no, he's, he's definitely leaving. It's like, he, there's no way he can farm. Yep. It's a big problem, it's, like, Timber is not going to be useful at all with no farm. So you get, you get no farm on a Timber Saw, you have a Slada who, even though look, he has a Blink Dagger, is going to die the second he blinks in. Look at the net worth, like, the Pilot Eye IO is richer than your Timber, that's... That's a big problem, like the enemy support is richer than your offlaner. If you just want to look at it overall, it's almost 13 grand going the way of Team Secret. 1,000 gold a minute is like basically a stomp, early game, early game stomp. Yep. And there's more money coming. Like mid one affords up a hand of Midas, now he can build into whatever the hell he wants to. Maybe they, even have to go maybe like the they can try. Lens. Maybe they can try to smoke into the Roshan, try to snag a Roshan, they have, they have Slada and TA. They that need is to possible. Do, they need to do something. But you need your, you need your Naga Song. Like until that point, you need to have Naga so like Song of the Siren to Gosh, protect Naga's yourself. Naga's level five. When Gabby's going to get his first crush, Elaine. relocate. They're coming in. They're bringing in more support, and it's going to be mid one. Gabby will be tracked up, and then the Dream Call Kezu with the blink forward and the rift. They'll hold him there and bring him down. DJ looking for some revenge. He'll try and size Poppy, but no, the imprisonment. Mid one kept him out of trouble, and now executes DJ under the tier one. So the slaughter, the timber. And the Naga also died on bottom, trying to just soak up some more experience. But this is 12 to 0. Is, is Execration going to get anything in this game? 
It seems like Secret are just immortals. I mean, at this point, they're going to have to count on Secret to make a big mistake for them to be able to come back into the game. The lead is just too big of a problem for XCTN to handle right now. Here we go again. Mid one has a double damage rune also in his bottle. Uh, TA, luckily she had a refraction up, so doesn't take any damage from the imprisonment, allows it to blink away to safety. Well, they, they really need to, like, so far nothing has happened for XCTN. They have not made any successful movements with the blink on Slada. And everyone is just, like, suffering from lack of space, lack of farm. I don't know, if nothing happens in the next few minutes, the game will just be over for XCTN. So they need to force something. Smoke up, try and make the most of a Templar Assassin with a Blink Dagger. Get her to jump in. Gabby, you've had this Blink for a while, but he needs an opening. Team Secret's positioning has just been a hell of a lot better. This Observe wall is up quite nicely. Blink and Dust, Puppy's already away. It's this fresh ward that got planted down that just cancels this gank out for Execration. And Team Secret is going to 5-man it. Eclipse is still on cooldown, but it looks like mid one just well, he doesn't really care. Do you, do you even need that at this point? <laughs> you're Not gonna, really. You're just going to run them down with your AWP attacks. They're, expect they're even expecting Execration might be trying to steal Roshan. So, oh, they, have the okay, they have a ward. They have two perfectly positioned wards. They have a ward, okay. They, they see them. But they're going for the trade-off, so MP and Pylai Dai will attack the top tower. They have relocated though. the other three in, Rappi's gonna get scouted, I don't remember, there's still no Song of the Siren, Orb will fly in, Roshan's not low, but mid one! <laughs> okay, okay, this OD's got a little bit of power behind him. Well, casually finds a Naga. They're prepping, they're prepping, the Dream Pile, three, Puck catches them out, then Orb's away, they can't go anywhere, but they can bring down Keizu. Where's the relocate? It never came. They're still pushing in the top lane, so there's no opening there, Puppy. Now they come in, and that Timber doesn't survive very long. Huh. It's like they're all waiting for mid That's one. That's kind of kind of kind of strange that they yeah. did not actually relocate on top of the Dream Coil. There was a perfect setup by Kezu there. All those heroes would have been dead if he came in to relocate. But Paladai gonna go down here after being uh, sent back towards the top lane. Uh, it doesn't really matter for for Secret. You give Execration two kills, but. I now mean, they're, gonna, they're not going to complain about whatever you give them at this point. <laughs> they're no. just going to take being that far behind. But mid one going to get up the Aegis of Immortal right now. So good luck killing him twice. Like you can't even kill him one time. This this is just an easy ticket now for mid one. Like he can look for he can be even more aggressive than he already is, and doesn't have to worry about I say worry about losing his killings. But he's still only two zero four in this OD. But you have Aegis. You have the relocate. Maybe it's this venue you're more worried about. 180 CS in 19 minutes. And he has a full Assault Curas. Pre-20 minutes Assault Curas. You know, it's, it's watching these games where you understand why Team Secret took no longer than 23 minutes in all of their group stage games. Like, this is just... This is crushing. Well, the hardest games were the games they played Mineski. <laughs> That's about it. It really was. Like yesterday's games were absolutely amazing. Team Secret have just turned up today and they're playing terrific Dota. I think the problem with both of the games for XCTN is like their supports didn't really create enough space in the early game. They had really good laning support in my opinion, but the lanes were like constantly being like Puppy was the main problem in both of the games and Execration supports did not really deal with the Puppy movements in the early game. Is this how deep Execration have to be to smoke? <laughs> I, you, they almost went to their tier 4 towers at one point. They'd love yeah, to do it. You have no map control. You're playing against a bounty. You have to assume all the lanes are awarded. Uh, yep. awarded. So at the same time, you're also smoking out. And like this is the vision right now on the mini-map for the Dire side. They have one Observe Ward in mid lane, which just saw mid one. A scan. Yeah, they're, they're scanning inside or just behind the tower, okay, they, wondering they if might that's get, where they're waiting. They might try to get MP, but there's relocate. Uh, there's like Pylai to re relocate him out here. Oh, if they could find Pylai die, they might be able to isolate MP. And Pylai die, the balls are out at the same time. Here goes your crush. MP turns around, looking for the fight. Paralyzing oh, cast will line him up now with the death ward. Ionisa drop. Puck will kill off Templar Assassin in the meantime. Relocate. It was attempted but failed. MP taking through it. The damage. Where's your cleave? Here comes Timbersaw. He'll bring in the damage and finally Execration to getting something. They lose their Templar Assassin. That was the fight that was oh, happening in the meantime. The supports arrive. Mid one. He was the part tracks. of that mid kill and now they lock in DJ with no more mana. Execration get kills, but at what cost? Gabby is on the run. Blink's still on cooldown for the moment. 
But they keep the vision up to track. Thanks to track. Still, it's a good trade for acceleration. They got kills. They got the spend. So mm -hmm. that's a lot, of, a lot of gold into their pockets. And it's an even two for two trade. Even though it's two cores going down for a support and a core, but it's still a good trade for acceleration since they're so far behind. Yeah, the fact, if, especially because you stopped the eight kill streak at this event. So all that money it went into the timber store. He got almost twelve hundred gold for that kill. And that can get him back on track. It gives him his bloodstone recipe. At least he's kind of missing a lot of other critical parts for it. That's a that's a oh, they small see problem. They see him. <laughs> that sentry's down, but what are you gonna do? It's still a bounty with an early medallion. Now blink, crush, ah, bed big hit. Oh, the prison! The Kenzu, and they hit him down. Come on! Execration just wanted something. Puppies even. Oh, the paralyzing cast. It flew out. Oh, find the kill. Odie will drop. Oh, they no, need he's, more damage. He's deep in enemy territory here. There's no paralyzing cast, but they have the damage. Keizu with the silence tries to create a little bit more space, but in comes MP from the back, just looking to slice and dice him up. Timber chain back inside the base. Our bed. Now the tether 40 blinks away to safety. And Team Secret, they're farmed, they're a long way ahead, but they still don't want to dive too deep. They focus on the objective. And they're going to bring MP back towards uh, the bottom lane to continue farming. There's no need for them to force anything. They have full map control, they are going to be able to farm the map and out farm XCPM anyways. It's very difficult for them to leave the base. Like you said, they had to smoke inside their base. They're not even feeling safe smoking outside because they do not have any idea where the bounty plays the wards. Execration. Catching small breaks. At least this is starting to flatline. Only 20k the net worth advantage for Team Seeker. Only 20k. Oh, I'm, I'm looking again. Right side. <laughs> silver lining winter. That's what we push for. But MP rapidly In approaching a BKB. The control which XCTN has is like, it won't be enough. This Timber has, like, again, like there's so much pressure on the shoulders of DJ. Just to keep Execration up. I think it's more, oh. Oh, oh no. no. He knew it. He knew it. Wait, are they? Oh, he, they, they have glimmers. no vision. They have yeah. no vision. They got no detection. It's funny because he walked underneath the Observer Ward of Team Secret after he planned down the sentry. He said, can you please deward this? And then continue to walk into Team Secret's territory. Asking for trouble, but Glimmer Cape. Witch Doctor. At least having some money to work with. All right, I'm surprised he has. Oh yeah, he got the kill just now. Remember on onto mm -hmm. Puppy. Yep. Yeah, that's why. He, that's that's how he got his goal for the Glimmer. I mean, it's considering the situation they're in. A support getting a Glimmer is a a very good sign. So for they, they can get they can get Glimmer Desolator can now be purchased up by the Templar Assassin. You're not going to be having any buybacks coming to the next fight apart I mean, from Timber Saw. Screw buyback at this point. You just want well, your they items. They find an opening. It's going to be Gabby Blink. He actually got the crash off. It was already too late. Kazu arrived in the back of the orb. They relocated over and a very quick kill. I mean, one. I think Kazu might also be going into like a quick Dagon to take out the supports. He has a staff at right now. Staff of Wizardry. It's going to be really good for them. Being able to remove the supports from the get-go, especially the Naga. You want to kill him before... Have you even seen a song yet so far? Actually, he's already finished the Yules. That's oh, what he's got. It's, it's still going to have the same effects. You're able to Yules up a Witch Doctor if you get Vision. Uh, Abed. He doesn't have any Vision, the Courier. So he can't go for that. If you're trying to farm in the only safe place there is, the place where Team Secret isn't, they're side of the river. Alright, this is smoke time. This is this is, has to be gang time. I mean, they have to try. They already have all their main items up. They need to try try to make a kill happen. Rosh is gonna spawn in the next few minutes. Ideally, you wanna get a kill, a big kill. Get a, to a tower or get Roshan after. Like They need to get a lot from this smoke. It's probably their last smoke for some time. No, there's still one more smoke in base. So They still need to make this work. Oh, mid one. He's alone. He is a long way out alone, but when he's got a Hurricane Pike and still has Blink Dagger available, it's too far to travel. Oh, Instead, it's going to be DJ. The relocate's coming in, and that Timber Saw. Oh, he's got no armor to work with, and this gang from Execration, not only does it fail, the Creep Wave scouts out their movements. They start the TPs. Will everybody get out? Song of the Siren. Naga holds the puck in position. There's no TP up for the Temple oh. Yeah, for the stun! MP! He BKB so he can come in under the song. Let's the storm bolt go. And now Rappi, don't run towards your own teammate. You do not want to give him any information. Arbet's in bits inside of Melt. So the orb doesn't see him. 
The Keizu smells something. Oh, that was tracked as well on so many heroes. That was a very big, big kill for XCTN. And you could tell he was running to the trees and Abed was like hiding there. He was like, go away, brother. <laughs> Just t t don't tell them I'm here. Don't tell them I'm here. You ratted me out. Miss Slada might have a little bit more initiation range once he completes this four staff he's working on. I mean, still, it's not like a big game changer for them. Like, they, they need to get big items on the TA plus yeah. the Timber. Both of these heroes need a lot of, of items. Like Timber's still just hoping he can complete at one point a Bloodstone. And he's been working on this for I mean, the entire game. <laughs> it's gonna take a while at this point. Blink, Crush, they find an opening. It's gonna be Puppy. Relocates on the way in. Puppy still taking terrible damage, but they got the OD imprisonment mid one. Moves forward, Execration move back for TJ. Waits his time out nicely, oh, and now OD. with the root, he throws the ulti down, it's not enough damage. Timbersaw buys back, they end another streak. Again, it's Witch Doctor who's finding these kills. Well, I suppose it all goes towards a nice Aghanim okay, Scepter, good. and that's going to be difficult for Secret to deal with. Can say goodbye to your blood soul now, Timbersaw. <laughs> but you can say hello to a Witch Doctor 3 position. Witch Doctor Aghanims? Sound, yeah, sounds that's like a good idea. It's gotta be it, man. Like, it, there's no other choice. They have to, a like, team secret, get together and then blast them all down. Problem is, you've got level 4 Warcry and Assault Kuros, which kind of negates a lot of what Witch Doctor does. I mean, you have the Slada Amp and the Meld Desol from TA. That kind of helps a bit. Because you can target down one hero. That's like the dream for the Witch Doctor to get to Axe this, this game. They're gonna get a Jebim on Pile I Die. What did uh, did Kimo actually buy? He bought he bought he the bought staff. something, right? He bought a staff of wizardry. I hope it's not a four staff. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping it's not a four staff either. But they may be thinking that's the only way to initiate. The other way to initiate is using your yeah, song of the siren aggressively. How, how much will it change the game, though? Not a hell of a lot. But if you've got the double four staff combining up with the slider, maybe you give Gabby the range. It's not going to find the kill, but at least might might be to get like it doesn't even because even you get like a one you man crush and a puppy, yeah, the relocate comes in. You you have to be able to win the fights. I I don't see them like coming back into the game any other way. They need to win the fights. They have to rely on uh, like positioning. Like the Slada crush has to land on multiple targets, plus the witch doctor cask. Then on top of that, they need the timber chakra plus the witch doctor ultimate. There's a lot of ifs yeah. that need to happen. A lot of ifs. Uh, I've seen like uh, I can't remember what game was it. Like they played the uh, the team played the Naga support, and he basically ran behind the team fight. When his team initiated in front, he swung the IO behind so he couldn't relocate. They probably have to do like things like that to win the fight. Like they need to stop the IO from relocating the the target in front. Team Secret are coming to win the game if they can now. They're gonna enter into Execration's top lane. MP can miss the gold strength straight away with the help of Pyline Die. He's also gonna bottle up Haste Rune. It'll be difficult to catch him out. Song of the Siren, Gabby, he blinked backwards. Uh, I don't think he meant to do that. He double tapped his blink and went straight back to the well. Now MP will just BKB. Gabby's waiting out. He's got one more second. Now his blink is off cooldown. The root will be on this vent, so the BKB timing is being wasted a little bit, even amplification. Making Sven think twice about staying on the front lines. What actually just happened? I'm not certain exactly what the initiation was meant to be. But I, I was even surprised the objective he popped. Was gained. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised he popped his BKB as well. Like, I don't think he was in any form of danger. Like, because once he pops his BKB, uh, uh, you'll set uh, onto the Templar Assassin. Relocate. She's in danger. Here comes the relocate in, and with the quick hex, Templar Assassin will drop, and the orb forward didn't jaunt. However, he was away under the cover of Glimmercape, but that's one full minute without the Templar Assassin because she bought up the Ogre Club to try and get to a BKB and save the money. So more pressure on Execration, they need to hold their high ground for 50 seconds. Luckily, it looks like Secret have no intention of pushing in. They're gonna uh, maybe scout out Roshan here with uh, Kezu. Is he gonna go over? But Execration already knew Roshan is up. Uh, Gabby said, oh, nice blink. Dodges the Storm Bolt. They got help from DJ. Secret was setting that one up thanks to their aggressive Observer Ward. Yep, they're gonna claim the Roshan, yeah. Not much excavation could do without the song. It's still 90 seconds before it comes back online. They have. I don't have smoke. Now even if they have smoke, I don't. I don't think they can actually win this fight or even try to contest without without song. It's just too difficult. Okay, you've got two immortals. There's like Roshan. If you could drop two immortals, that's what they have. 
Uh, there's Nagus over on OD, but there's a full Satanic Dude. completed over on MP. How are they going to kill this man? <laughs> uh, they don't. It's uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty much the answer. Okay. You wait until everyone else is dead, they and then you deal with him. They make him pop his BKB. They song the other heroes, then snare him, and they try to deal with him. You sort of have enough quick damage for that. Like, Surprise. Amplification as well as Mel can help you on that front. But w what other options are there? If I suppose the upside is MP won't kill you straight away because he's not walking around with the Daedalus. So it's not a huge amount of damage he's got. He's very well, he's very tanky, he's very survivable. He's, but yeah, but he's very tanky, so if you can't kill him, it doesn't really matter as well. If like he just needs to kill your buildings at this point. Like if you and stay alive in the fights with the IO backing him up. Yeah, sure he doesn't have the like the first damage to kill you with the Daedalus, but I mean at this point because the o OD still packs a lot of damage in the team fights. So the Sven doesn't really need to go for that all out damage build. Because he's not the only one dealing damage in the fights. All he needs to do is just make sure he survives. And tank for the OD. Well, if he can do that, he'd be very happy. Execration if they can just find a kill before this this push from secret happens. They'll also be very happy. Puppy was their last one. They looked at Blink Crush. This feels very similar to before. And Keizu, quick on the mark. They'll take the stun. MP jumps in under the cover of BKB. Song of the Siren doesn't cancel anything. Two heroes down. A 44 second window now forced open by Team Secret. Now, even with buyback on the Naga, he's not going to be able to accomplish much with his buyback. So it looks like at least two sides of Rex will go down here for execration and most likely mean the game as well. I can't really see how they're going to be able to come back from this. Anyone jumping in? He's on the creating space, keeping Templar Assassin out. Chemo, already using his Glimmer Cape. Bit of a problem when you're thinking about using Death Ward too. You want to have it off cooldown for your Death Ward. I suppose you are going up against a gem, so maybe it doesn't make as much sense anyway, and a lot of tracks. So yeah, there's two lanes of racks. Ex Execration, you just have to wait. I mean, Secret can still easily fight them right now with five heroes, even with five heroes up. You, you got BKB of cooldown on this event in 14 seconds. Not that he even really needs it, but it's... Like I mean once I'm, he's I'm, got really, it, I'm really struggling to find how XCTN can actually win the fights. Like, even with the song just now, like, if the Sven pops the BKB, he can still kill the other heroes fast enough, even without the Daedalus. There's not much options left. Buyback? How about buyback? Yeah. They there's have no buyback, okay. There's, there's nothing available. Maybe if they had mid one's money, they could buy back the entire of Execration. He's walking around with 6,000 on this OD. <laughs> like, if he wants to just buy a Moonshard now, he can do that. If he ever wants to drop his hand of Midas, which he's still got. Dude, he can drop his Hex now and they're still gonna win the game. Hey, speaking of Hex, Keizu's just got one. Like, this Puck, this is your offlane Puck. This is the guy you committed three heroes at the start to try and keep shut, like, shut him down. He's got a Blink, Hex, Yules, and then the face boots just to boot. This is just a simple execution now for Team Secret and Execration. They need to go for something. Like there has to be some level of Hallelujah play. You got one smoke left over on the courier. Arbez keeping the top lane out. You at least have buyback on the Temple or Assassin, which is probably going to be the most critical thing they have coming into this push. But MP GG. just stands on the front lines with yes, both Moonshine consumed as well as a double damage rune. Gabby doesn't want to go on that. I mean, not like he needs the. Oh, DVD. the orb! The orb! It flies up. Keizu knows. They're waiting in the tree lines, and now Gabby jumps into Blink Crush. Called out Io as well, but the Hex to keep the Witch Doctor around. No, D! It's over! It's over! Game two will go the way of Team Secret. Execration held on as long as they possibly could. They waited for any window, any opportunity to win this game, and one just never appeared. Flawless victory for Team Secret so far.